G'day folks, welcome to an OCC Queensland Daily Weather App today, the 21st of the 2nd, 2023. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, TownsvilleSheds.com. Check them out if you're interested in a shed safe accredited shed. All right, we've got some showers up here in the far north around the northern Cape. We've got lots of light patchy rain and cloud activity through the northern interior. Not much actual rainfall falling into a gauge in that. And uh, lots of shower activity around the Mackay with Sunday's coastline as well. Uh, we've also got a few showers further south and further north of that section of coastline. But quite clearly there, the primary area of interest today is going to be that northern central Queensland, southern northern Queensland region. Why is that area a clear area of interest? Well, because we've got a very weak surface trough that's just onto and just offshore off the coastline here in this southeasterly flow. So you can see southeasterly winds, nothing too special about those all over the state. But just in here, there's just that little bit of a surface trough that's enhancing the rainfall on the southeastern side of it. While we're on winds, we can see that that southeasterly flow is expected to be maintained across much of the coast, with wind gusts occasionally getting even up to around that 30 to 32, 33 knot range uh, with any squally showers. So without the squally showers, you're seeing wind gusts at around 25 knots, but with the squally showers, you might get those gusts right up to about 30, 32, 33 knots. So obviously not a great idea to be on the water in that type of scenario. Thanks to the Bureau of Meteorology, the last 24 hours here we can see some heavy falls around the Mackay coastline and some lighter falls around the Whitsundays and the North Tropical Coast regions as well as parts of the Sunshine Coast and South East Queensland in general just seeing a few showers. You can see some nice storms yesterday provided some, light, uh, some patchy rain, not necessarily light rain, some decent rain but very patchy across inland parts of the state and some showers and storms across the Gulf Country and the Cape helped to provide them with some isolated and localised rainfall. You can see a nice fall up there in the Torres Straits. Thanks to Meteologics, if we take a look at the next uh, 12 to 24 hours worth of rainfall, we can see that we're primarily expecting between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. some heavy, some locally heavy falls around the Mackay with Sunday's coast, extending into the Burdick and Herbert region as well with some shower activity increases. Notice here the eastern escarpments firing up with quite a few showers, maybe even an isolated sneaky storm in there somewhere as well, albeit relatively weak. You can see showers and storms building up in the northern Cape and the Gulf Country between 10 and 4. As we go between 4 and 10 p.m. this evening, we can see shower activity progressively shifting northwards through to the Herbert Burdekin region. You can see widespread showers and storms possible around the northwestern Cape, the western parts of the Gulf Country. And uh, just notice a slight increase or re-increase again of showers and storms overnight tonight around the Mackay with Sundays. Little secondary surface trough just sort of pops up in here. Uh, so the primary surface trough continues shifting northwards, but a little secondary surface trough just pops up in here overnight early in the morning. And then as we go to 4 p.m., 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, we can see that most of our heavier shower activity on the North Tropical Coast and the Herbert Coast, maybe, and uh, and around the exposed parts of the Central Coast around the Whitsundays and the Mackay region still with that secondary. So primary surface trough continues to shift northwards up here, and then secondary surface trough just reforms in here, just helping to enhance the shower activity. So that's where we are over the next 24 hours with regards to rainfall. The model average approach from the multi-model ensemble, thanks to Meteologics, we can see once again. Again, our heavier falls around the North Tropical Coast, the Cassery Coast region and the Central Coast with Sundays. But that's not to say that there isn't some pretty decent falls potentially in the middle of those areas in the Herbert Burdekin region as well. You can also see some showers, as I mentioned, this afternoon around the escarpment areas and a couple of showers around the coastlines as well outside of our main regions in here. You can also see showers and storms in the northern and northwestern Cape and across the far western or the western half of the Gulf Country. The monsoon's coming back towards the end of the week and into the weekend across the far northern parts of Australia. For more details on that, head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. Check out our subscription options. We're already talking about it in there. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.